There's something kind of magical about the movie Fargo. Um, the Coen brothers take what is essentially a crime drama, a story of a man having his wife kidnapped so that he can collect a ransom on it, and of a police chief trying to solve this murder, um, a series of murders. It's this very simple crime drama, but adding the kindest people in these roles and that North Dakota accent that I cannot do and will not attempt, just combining those two makes this movie so entertaining and so charming and so likable. Um, Frances McDormand plays the most likable woman on the planet as a, a pregnant chief of police who is solving this murder while trying to satisfy her, her pregnancy cravings and dodge morning sickness and also supporting her husband with his painting. And this unforgettable, super likable character doesn't even appear until you're a half hour into the movie because that first act is carried by William H. Macy who plays this husband who's just a, a wolf in sheep's clothing so to speak. He's so friendly on the outside, but inside he has this diabolical plan that is going to fail miserably just to earn some money for whatever he even wants it for. Something about parking lots. And it's... It's just these two actors just play these two characters that are so similar and so different. And it just keeps you watching this movie. It's... It's hard to not enjoy um, just a little dialogue and little quips and all the yeah don't you knows and all that I said I wasn't gonna try the accent that was terrible um, it's, it's just hard not to enjoy this movie even though it, it touches upon some dark uh, sides of humanity um, but I think uh, Margie says it the best at the end when there's when she says there's more to life than a little money and it's it's a really strong message to, to exit the movie on. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful trip. Um, I like the Coen brothers, I do. Um, I'm a little weird, because I think Oh Brother, Where Art Thou is my favorite of theirs, um, followed by Fargo and then Lebowski. But I know that's not the most popular opinion, but I like their work. Um, and I'm looking, I might go see Hail Caesar. I heard it didn't get the best reviews, um, it's their newer one, but I might still go check it out. Um, the cats have been adorable all night. Is she eating chocolate? No. She's that would kill her. Chocolate is as bad for cats as it is for dogs. I know. That's why I'm asking you if she's eating chocolate. No, she's being a turd. No. She wants me to pet her, but as soon as I pet her, she hits me. <laughs> she was doing that to me while you were taping your Cody rants. <laughs> Yeah, we, we just taped her, her rant video from last night, and both cats were just surrounding her while she was yelling, and it was adorable. Um, anyway, Fargo, classic. See it. There's a reason why there's a TV show based on it now, 20 years later, is because it's a very, very good movie. Um, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm looking at uh, Monday Night Raw. Uh, and talk wrestling again. Um, not for two and a half hours this time, but for five minutes. Uh, until then.